uh, Clan Blitz me uh, uh, Starfish main stage. So yeah, there's um, there there's a uh, hostile a wild in this. So let's see how this ends up going on. We have what is expected from Catherine Newton. Basically the same comp they've been going all tournament. Pro Mini Luna Charger. We have the double Brella comp coming out of low key that we expect from them. Uh, considering that uh, you know they're just switching it up by going tent because Clan Blitz. Morse gets taken out early by a Splat Bomb at a Noctis here at the beginning of the game. And Noctis putting all the pressure right now in Loki's Plat, not able to get it as Misa finds the nice position above him to take out that Luna, prevent him from wreaking havoc. And I think the missile's taking out Dennis there. Rest in peace, bot. He goes offline. <laughs> as, uh, now they have a uh, now they have some footballs ready here it's for the push. Uh, as Misa, he tried to get a clam throw at him, but then he climbed, so it didn't work. Ooh, okay. He's just going well, all he, the way in. The, yeah, I mean, he did the right thing, right? He he juggled the 10th the clam so that he wouldn't be easy to Stingray. Gets Stingray anyway, uh, free basically able to take advantage of the Stingray. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we can surmise that it was something along the lines of uh, him looking at the silhouettes, you know, hit markers, etc. But hey, everybody being optimal right now. Gamer did jump back, but Noctis... Yeah is able to baller into the enemy spawn. Looks like jump-ins are coming. This is probably going to be opening score unless... Oh, wow. Something Not happens. Just, just yeah, shredding that umbrella and the direct after. Um, the power clam... Ooh, free! Finally goes in. Free coming up from the spawn to get it in. As, uh... That's also well, gonna... It's actually gonna be a small... Oh, what? Uh, 71. Kind of big. Oh, here's Dennis. The bot command score clams. Well, they can't kill him. They go. took take a while to get wow, him. Wow, that went finally that, out. That went from like ah, this isn't a big push. They're just gonna get a pity out of this to like oh look points. But uh, yeah. they are going to get this pity. There is already a power clam. Ooh, unfortunately getting taken out by another splat bomb. Yeah. Clutch splat bomb so far from uh, Catherine Newton so far. Yeah, the really yeah, really uh, nice everywhere. stuff. And actually another another member of Loki going down. Free jumping already in with another power clam. They're just gonna keep the offense going, not giving Loki any time to breathe or get map. With like dying to random splat bombs, plus like just I won't say random. I'm not trying to discredit. Cat well, I know, of course, but like time when it's like you know you weren't aware of it, that's why you died to it, kind of splat. Yeah, bombs. Not the, but like not the like I didn't like think about this and it works. Splat when bombs you combine and... that with like Catherine Newton just never ending offense, and now look second, second, and Dennis coming in with their own clams. They're just kind of throwing one in, backing off, throwing one in. Now they get that pick. This might be a knockout really soon if it's bleeding does not stop. You know, the, these guys the missiles are... coming in. They yeah. managed to get it in. They wiped, but they got the last clam out of his hand on his dying yeah. breath. Well, you can throw those in when you jump off of the plat, right? So, like, when you're up there in office and you jump, like, even if you get killed when you hit the ground, it's it, it's enough. And, man, that is, uh, that is some brutal <laughs> pushing. Coming out of Catherine Newton, the the difference in slaying wasn't the biggest, man. But those picks that happened were picks that mattered, and low key just got stomped. These 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 pushes out of Catherine Newton, like we talked about, man. When they come, they they hit hard. They just really know how to extend a push. They know how to juggle clams and throw them in while they they can stay alive so consistently. It's like they they just get rid of all the targets on their back, and they're like, hey, don't shoot me shoot that guy, and then that guy backs off, and the other guy's throwing clams, and it's just like, it's never ending with these guys. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, while it was a really rough game one, it's still only game one, and this is a long set, and Loki is gonna have to uh, make some adjustments here on Splatstone's Muscle Forge. Um, I honestly, like, Noctis really went in that game one. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't know anything about this matchup. How do you feel about a Luna Blaster versus like a Tent and a Undercover Brella oh, and so weapons of this? Luna, Luna, like, it doesn't quite have the the advantage over Brellas that um that maybe something longer range like a like a like a Grim or something would have, where they can use that splash damage to get around the Brella Shield um pretty consistently. Luna has to get really close, probably to the point where the you know the Brella is going to be able to take him out. Um, but the way we've seen Noctis play is he uses the splat bombs and just moves around the map and stuff in such a manner that by the time he closes the gap, it's just he's getting a kill anyway. Um, he definitely like relies on teammates opening up those advantages for him, and he gets the kills fast enough with the advantages that he's given to the point where he's not just like baiting teammates. You know, like I'm gonna let my teammate die so I can come in and get the kill on the guy that's distracted. Kind of. We don't really see a lot of that from Noctis, so. and that's probably yeah. what sets him apart from other people who attempt to play that weapon in camp. 
So, that all being said, um, he's probably gonna go after those Brellas when they have someone else putting pressure on the Brella, therefore uh, making it so the Brella just can't, you know, mindlessly defend without, you know, any kind of care of other uh, threats coming around. But, so far, Loki is kind of in a dominant position. They do get uh, uh, taken out, a member taken out right now, but they have a lot of specials. Here comes the Booyah Bomb, the Ballers also at the ready. Uh, the Slosh Deco is actually going to be able to get away. And actually, no, doesn't get away. Doesn't even get a trade, so it's going to be a 2v3 situation right now. Catherine Newton should be able to take zone at this point. Noctis has his brother coming up behind him, though. Able to get away for now and get to zone while Dennis can help him. And now he's going to push all the way in on that bridge. Finally, with Catherine Newton having some control, he's going to be real aggressive here. Getting that direct on the Brella. Now, moving in, his teammate helps him get that kill. And now Loki member forced to jump out, so that's just going to be really a one-person alive situation on Loki. They're going to have to come back from spawn now, and Noctis is just going to sit here and shark with his big blast rate. Gets a trade with the Slosher, but the lead is now for Catherine Newton, and the time is ticking down, and Loki's in here. One member goes down. They don't really have the specials to do anything with. On either side, just an armor as Morse is going to try to run up in here. The baller coming out, though, and that's going to allow him to get the penalty. So they didn't hesitate with the specials, which is good. That's what let, that's what let them get in so quickly. They didn't hesitate with the specials at all. Nope. They really just took it to them. And now that they don't have the lead, but they have the penalty they taken down. It's a good opportunity for them. Map control, and it looks like they're really close to having specials. Almost see the Booyah Bomb, almost see the armor, almost see the Ray. Unfortunately, the armor user gets taken out by Freeze Ray. Um, there is a counter ray at the ready, but this is not really the opportunity to best use it. Uh, oh, no, now it is. There's a pick that's happened. The zone's been taken. So now that ray is going to be really critical in taking out members. However, the, it looks like the, the ray user went down. So we're now back to like kind of a situation where nobody has specials, but Loki has more members alive. So this is what we wanted to see out of Loki, able to take this lead. What's going to happen now, though? Freeze about to have that ray. Some more members are about to have some specials. Booyah Bomb goes off. Armor goes off. Zone getting Bruce Wirtz taken right now. If they get this penalty, they're in a situation where they could make it happen later. Uh, Misa right now under a lot of pressure from Zek and gets uh, assistance from a teammate and has a full wipe in the favor of Catherine yeah. Newton. Loki's going to get out of the base. Almost got a knockout for Loki, but they weren't able to quite keep it in because they, I feel like they got a bit desperate to just try and get that knockout. They kind of yeah, right. a bit they didn't, they didn't got taken the out full wipe. Line kind of situation sometimes you just have to you know give the opponents the penalty giving the opponents a penalty is used but to like keep nine that. times that yeah nine times out of ten giving them the penalty is better than giving them the white so you know that's you know not the best look ever um members of loki going down right now uh, a member of captain Ca captain newton member of catherine newton goes down too so this is a decent spot for loki and this looks like there's gonna be a zone penalty we'll see what happens booyah bomb getting ready but just for not quick enough. Exam. And now Morris chasing down this one member alone over here on Catherine Newton's side, able to get him, but it's only going to be a trade as, uh, I mean, it's just a trade. That's all I got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a trade. But yeah, no, this is, uh, this is good for Loki. They're able to make sure that they hold on to their lead, get away from what seems like a little bit of a scary situation, right? But right now, Free is going to get another one of those clutch snipes. He's going to pop that ray. He looks a little bit less effective than last time. Not able to get a pick out of it, but he's able to create a lot of space for his team to move up. Now, unfortunately, they were not working on a timer that whole time. They have a very big penalty to work for, through. Uh, Loki only has three members alive right now. Um, they are under a lot of pressure from this charger. We'll see how this ends up turning out. Loki's kind of pushing to a corner too far. Uh, not that much time left on the penalty. Loki gets the specials ready. Armor is ready. Stingray is ready. Uh, Catherine Newton, however, has specials ready as well. We'll see how it ends up turning out. A lot of yellow paint on zone, and that's going to be a penalty. That penalty might come in huge there. Um, maybe Catherine Newton should have been a bit more proactive with the specials to prevent the penalty, but it's not over yet. They have the 10 seconds. They can still cap it. They have a member down of Loki, so a slight man advantage here, but no pain to work off. Zekin's struggling to get in the zone and stay there. The ball are going to come out and force him out again. And that's it's so close. Yeah, to getting dude, that was back. so close. Like that, that was pretty Falling nuts. it out once again, but... Loki just able to get that one penalty, enough paint to force them out, and they just kept forcing them out. They didn't let Catherine Newton get back into the zone and start contesting it. Yo, Misa and with the classy uh, lab coat from Salmon Run this month, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. Looking fly with the Kensal Undercover, brother. Nice fit. 
and a nice win. So that's going to even up the set. Um, good, good comeback from Loki, considering that game one was kind of nutty. Mm -hmm. um, just really, really good job stalling the zone at some points and some really dominant like has stretches Catherine, they had. Has Catherine Newton just lost all their zones matches, but they've had the the crazy objective pushes in every other mode? Is that how it's gone so far? Right? Well, they've like, had a lot of three O's, so matches. I can't say that. Right, well, I mean, time. the last set, they lost the zones match, right? Yes. They lost the zones yeah, they did, match. they did. All the other matches, they just had these crazy objective pushes. So maybe that's a little bit of what's going on right now. You know, that the, they're not as strong in zones, but they're doing a really good job of just making these nutty, you know, one punch pushes happen to completely take everything all at once. Not sure if uh, that's actually what's going on, but... Well, if it is the case, the next three, the next three games are all other objective modes instead of zones so if if it is the case then this is a good opportunity for them this, this yep. is what they want for the next so three games it's like uh, having it's like having home field advantage but um mm -hmm. tower control wahoo very interesting map mode combo i think i think this is actually a pretty good map mode for double brilla i want to say mm -hmm. but um it's, it's a strange one give me your take on it um i mean I think that uh, their comp is fine. I mean, sometimes I want to see Morsa go like something like his like slashing machine, you know, like so like the slashes, like he's really really good with those, and they kind of have him on the Condor a lot. Uh, although tower control, the armor is really nice, especially when you have someone like Free that's going to be uh, spitting out those um, those stingrays. So yeah, you know, and sniper in general. I, I mean, you could have like the one on Condor and, and Misa on the uh, the slashing machine. Um, it, yeah, I, th I think I think Bradley can be pretty good for pushing like that left side though, and just in general uh, keeping people away from the tower, kind of stalling out for mm -hmm. more points. Um, but let's see what they got. Uh, yep, they do rock with that double relic comp again. Same comp coming out from uh, Captain Newton for the most part. Yeah, so let's see. I mean, both of these teams really not changing up that much. In fact, aside from this, uh, this one switch, you know, the the, oh, the wow. player has now gone uh, Kensa undercover, probably because it's tower control and that armor is kind of necessary. So we'll see how it ends up working out for them if it makes some kind of a difference or what. Uh, Loki, however, is tasked with hopefully understanding what we understand, which is that Catherine Newton has done a really good job making these like crazy pushes, and Loki either needs to do a better job making sure that they're not going down in ways that allow for those pushes, or doing a better job at taking advantage of their opportunities for the pushes to also make those crazy big plays, so that they can also have you know the benefit of being able to just crunch the enemy team and, and go for those huge knockouts too, right? So, one of the two things that has to happen, maybe they haven't noticed, maybe that's just part of playing well anyway, so that's what they're likely to do, given the uh, the need to perform. We'll see how it ends up going down. Uh, yep. Misa right now is uh, kind of has this booyah bomb ready. This could be a way to stop this push. Yeah, that booyah bomb is going to be huge to stop that tower right now, as well as survive nice. the baller. And he comes back and picks off that Luna. Now uh, doesn't stop the tower quite yet. An array coming out from Catherine Newton, as well as a booyah bomb. So that's going to give him some breathing room. But the objective has stopped being pushed. So. Maybe a bit of miscoordination there. Maybe uh, some members of Loki off camera doing stuff that we can't see. But Misa going all the way up here on that left side, nice. crushing that Kensa. Nice push on that brother with Morsa behind him. And uh, that's going to be a push opportunity starting for Loki. Yeah, and without a Stingray in sight from Free, this is going to be a really easy situation for a gamer now. Uh, we yep. see Free getting Ray soon. Misa is kind of near tower, so he's going to have to be the one that gets on tower as gamer goes for the counter ray. Let's see if that even happens. Go down to 52 50. Uh, seems like the rays are coming out now. What seems to be happening? Low key members seem to be going down the tower. Oh, low key members are going down. Yeah, really, really strong start from low key, especially because we saw. Catherine Newton wasn't really in a position to defend, but while they weren't defending the tower right away, they were getting specials and they used them really effectively. I would have liked to see Loki get a bit more aggressive, push up a bit more to put more pressure on them in front of the uh, special uses being as effective, but too little too late. And now that's Catherine Newton taking control right away, going for their own push. And uh, we'll see what they can do with two down on Loki already. So this could three down for Loki. This is, could be one of those big instant punches that uh, Captain Newton has been showing off all tournament. Yep. This definitely could be Baller no rain right now. Out. This is going to have to be done the old-fashioned way. 
Yeah, Baller and Armor came out from Catherine Newton. They have armor already on Loki's side, but the tower is just moving. That armor is gonna, only going to do so much to stop the objective because they're just still going to have to brute force it. All the way up to 10 with two members of Loki going down, a Ray coming out trying to get a pick on Gamer. Gamer has to jump all the way out and he still doesn't like, have a Ray ready. I don't think. The Ray finally comes out, but is it going to matter? They only have to ride for a little bit. That's a They way. finally get the wipe. Oh, and man. Dude, wow. these pushes are crazy. Yeah, they they just know. They just have such good timing with their specials, as well as just being able to coordinate, like uh, coordinate their their movements so that they can get picks, get pincers, get everything they need. And specials just aren't stopping them. Not even giving the other team the opportunity to use specials. Gamer Gamer only had one ray that entire match, and it was at the very end where it, it really didn't even matter. It's yeah. like. I what, mean, we see like one real opportunity for Loki to push, right? That's about it. We saw, yeah, just basically one. I feel like what I've noticed of that game, and it might have been a trend, but I, I it's this is the first time I'm kind of like noticing it. I'm kind of thinking about mm -hmm. it. Okay. I'm seeing, I, I'm seeing like in neutral. I'm seeing like a lot of trades on objective while while uh, Loki's like was trying to push this game. I, I was seeing a lot of trades. Loki was trying to push slowly but surely. But it was mostly trades, you know, and I think, I think, um, Catherine Noon has been very fine with trading until they can stop the objective fully. But then when they're on offense, they're not settling for trades. They are being very efficient with their pushes and it's just, it's just lending to them so well that they're able to not trade on offense so much and able to extend their pushes so much with specials. All right, so let's uh, let's see how uh, this compares, right? Um, we know that we we know what the task is of Loki, and that task is to match Catherine Newton with the the quality of these pushes. So let's yeah. uh, again, like I wish I could just like listen to their comms to see if they're realizing it's like, hey, we just have to like m play for the knockouts right now. Uh, Loki that could is, be a uh, thing. Oh, either that or they're going to they're need to make big adjustments on defense because Catherine Newton's been unstoppable and maybe maybe adjusting defense is too much to ask because they've just been rolling over everybody and they're doing it again really quickly up to 48. Loki member is still down, two down on Loki. Misa's shark sharking under the Rainmaker, but will it be enough? He has people coming from his right. There's going to be a trade. Oh, two down actually down, though. the craziest push, so this is, this yeah. is not bad. Uh, it was... Stingray. Wait, it was... Rain, oh, Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna freak out because I thought that uh, Catherine would pick up the Rainmaker, but oh wasn't. no, <laughs> no. So it was looking like it could have been a lot more because they actually had like a forty-two man advantage when they were around the. F oh wow, that snipe was crazy. By the way, jump free. <laughs> but yeah, they they were. It was looking like it could have been a lot more dangerous, but I guess uh, I'm not sure what took out two, but something on Loki took out two right away, and that kind of just stopped the push and free had to jump out. So. Good response from Loki making the worst out of a bad situation, but the offense just continues right now. Already. Oh my gosh. Noctis is going crazy. He's behind. There's a jump right there. I don't know if he saw it. Oh, he focuses that guy. It doesn't matter about the jump. He'll pick him up later. Noctis is just going crazy. That's three down for Loki. Noctis is all this the is way the kind of here. push. This is the kind of push that comes out of this team, man. Yeah, you can you can just see just by how how well Noctis is playing the front line. That front line camera was really nice. You can just see how much he fucking pushed. I'm sorry for cursing. That's just this is crazy. I have to curse. To it's cool. There's a Luna getting how crazy in this is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm losing my mind because Noctis is losing his mind. And yeah, and then the enemy team is losing their lives as a Luna in their base just completely giving them the business. I mean, like how often do you have to fight a Luna as well? Like if you're not fighting Noctis, you're really not fighting a Luna gonna be honest and it's working out for him just great now Dennis right here building uh ink storm getting ready for another push and low key needs to to knock it out like this, yeah this i mean change before they can even think about that they need to get some map because i mean now they're using specials hopefully they can get something going in that regard but not even just the pushes but like Catherine new in this game has just both of their pushes have ended with them at least having a couple of members fall back and keep map like, they're not even, like, yep. just throwing their push out there and just letting themselves get wiped. It hasn't been happening. It's been a really complete effort from it's Captain been, it, so It's far. been picks and then really calculated stretch pushes, right? Where it's like, yeah. like, you know, we're all going to push, 
but we're going to like stretch ourselves out towards mid where it's like someone's gonna go all the way someone's gonna go sort of all the way and then someone's gonna stay you know what i mean it's like it's just like a line of members and the line stretches to the enemy base to make the push and then, you know if people get taken out you know we're all in different it's not the end of the world yeah like yeah exactly hey except it might be the underworld for loki because this is still look at this map they don't have that much in terms of map control right now the Stingray finally coming out, but how much will that do? Because they have a Rainmaker in their hand and only two members alive behind him, one of them being a Stingray. So the Rainmaker does not have as much support right now. They're managing a, some form of offense, so they're getting some distance on. They see uh, they're able to stop Dennis right there with the ball point. I just realized, by the way, that is a ball point, not a mini. I don't know how I didn't catch on before, but <laughs> it's okay. Well, this it's is really this fun of this map where you just go the you go the double back line on on this map, and man. I mean, I, I realized it was doing things, but I was still thinking mini in my head, but oh, right, right, this right, is yeah, absolutely yeah. one of those maps where it's just happening. Where double right, back time is just well, a thing, it's working out. Yeah, I mean, Loki is, uh, Loki is, you know, they, they had the opportunity, right? Like that, Loki went for the push and they got it to 71. That was like the first time they pushed this entire game. Yeah. This is really... Yeah, and it's already looking like it's getting snuffed out because that's three members down and only this uh, mini there to do anything Misa going down now. <sighs> really, yeah. really tough spot for Loki. Uh, Zek can do a great job staying alive. He's waiting for this one person. He waits for the one and he gets that pick too. Just playing so smart right now. Slaying. Or even as the Rainmaker, they're just like... <laughs> we're just going to maul you guys in your face real quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I was about to say that would... It's like, I mean, like, that's one way to stop him from pushing is just go spawn kill him. I, I mean, mean, yeah, I the mean, they're just playing so well on offense that they, they don't even need the objective to to do their offense. They're just slaying so well. They're I mean, well, normally special. your your reason to push at a time like this is, you know, the enemy team can't push if you're pushing. Yes. So if you're just in their base spawn killing, they're and still they not can't pushing. Get out, yeah, like they're still and not pushing. A, I mean, they're not getting for security, but here, I guess. Like, uh, I don't know. They had a ray at the end there for security, but they. Didn't even need it, honestly, because they cannot get to that Rainmaker, and this is just, that was another decisive game from Catherine Newton, like, honestly. Yeah, that it was, game was kind of a, a, a blowout. Look Jeez, at that, 21 from man. Zekin. Zekin has been showing up this Whoa. set. Zekin and Noctis, their presence on offense has been so huge. Like, they've both been, they've been, like, trading games top fragging, but the whole time just, like, going on and on. I don't think they know it's best of seven. Oh no, they do. The one has to sub out. Oh really? They want. Oh, they want me to host. All right. Of course they do. <laughs> welcome, welcome back, Dad. Everybody wants me to host. You are really the dad of the community. All right, let me just. I'm gonna mute myself real quick as I DM these guys a password. So while we wait for this lobby to start back up, I'm uh, going to do a little plug real quick. We got um, Saturday morning coffee next week, I believe, at 3 a.m. Pacific time, which is 12 p.m. CEST. So that is on the 18th for EU teams, a, a EU tournament coming up from our friends at Saturday Morning Coffee. Probably going to be streamed on Endgame. May 18th. Really consistent tournament series. And we stream it down here at EDTV. Should be fun. If you're an EU team, you want to play some tournament that's designed for you and your time, hit it up. Alright, that's my plug. Water. <laughs> that is your plug. Yeah, we we uh we are trying to schedule the stuff happening uh so that we can we can kind of have like these weekend events and have them all go back to back. So we you know have the, we have the EU slot, we have that kind of like a universal slot, and then we have the NA slot afterwards. So lots of fun to be had. Pretty sure that means there's actually three tournaments on the 18th because there's so. there's Saturday coffee, there's Ink Academy ladder, and then there's I think something Nathan's doing. All right, cool. So now we're just waiting for uh, everyone to grab, hop into the lobby. We have chips subbing in for the one. I think the one's got to go to work. So oh, maybe said, this is said, maybe this is what we need, man. Maybe chip hopping in and bringing that uh, to the wrong place. 
Let's right, not though. talk about that though. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, this could be a fresh of breath air, but it could also have the opposite effect because bringing somebody in in the middle of finals when you're down three one, kind of got to get on the same page with whatever's going on. Um, let, let's just see how it works out. We're obviously gonna see. I don't. I don't. Do you know what Chip plays usually, or what he would play? Chip, he plays brushes. He is. He is the he is brush a, master, and okay, he that's plays what tweezers I sometimes. Yeah. No, he's right. that guy. So, you know, you were you were hesitating because he's like there's chip and there's chips. I guess like I'm not gonna. <laughs> Didn't chips do a brush guy too? Yeah, chips was that's a brush. Crazy. So was chip. Apparently, that's just that's just how it be. Anyways, brush is a very different weapon from Prella. So, what? I don't. I'm not sure how uh, Loki's going to adjust to it, but it's going to be a lot more offensive. He's going to have to work with his team yeah. though to get through because Brush isn't yeah. the greatest at well, breaking uh, through on its way, own. The way chip rate plays brushes. I mean, we kind of saw a little bit of it um, with uh, with Nick Thick playing it earlier, but basically, it is um, a ton of being super mobile around the map and just avoiding death. Um, it, it, he 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 gets in the flanks. He, he he also like offers up like a lot of like crazy stealth jumps and stuff like that. Now, without the one playing, we're going to be in a situation where like you know. He, uh, sorry, let me get the teams right real quick. We're going to be in a situation where, like, there, there's not going to be the uh, the camo tent coming down with, like, the the beacons and all kind of crazy nonsense unless, unless gamers are playing, uh, playing ballpoint. But, yeah, no, he he's just everywhere. He's off doing the craziest flanks, staying alive. Um, and he does it in the right way. I'll be, uh, I'll be, like honest about it like he doesn't go for like the the i'm gonna ignore my team and not play objective flanks it's you know gonna be uh it's going to be the you know the the i'm gonna swing in at the right moment flanks it's gonna be like i'm gonna do what the team needs me to do when i'm not doing it kind of flanks like he he i mean he's a little bit of a nut don't get me wrong <laughs> but I, I mean if you play ink brush you kind of have to be yeah this is this the only option for you it's either go crazy or go stupid and he's probably going crazy. But yeah, um, this is 3-1 for Catherine Newton. And I mean, in order to avoid this, the set being over, they have to win on Clams Reef, Loki does. And we've seen Catherine Newton on this map already. And let's just say it wasn't pretty for the other team. To be fair, though, they almost got knocked out. So they did. They did not. Uh, so, you know, if Loki can put that together... It'll work, and it was against a brush. Now, Chip does get taken out right off the bat, so this is an uh, advantage right now, Catherine Newton, as far as map control is concerned. Only one person getting missile from this uh, missile right now, so not the uh, not the most you know threatening use of your special after getting the advantage, but with nine clams about to make a power clam, it looks like uh, Catherine Newton's about to get in a pretty early first push. Yep, just... I mean, they, they all, they're they all about the strong offenses. They've been showing it off all tournament, and I would not be surprised if they put in 50-plus points already. But Loki getting a good amount of blue ink in front of that basket. But, uh, yep, Dennis is coming in with Noctis coming around the side. Misa able to call out the flank, and Dennis is not going to be able to get through. So, good defense to start off, but that was a quick push yeah, in the first minute of the game. This relatively low-scoring push from what we've been seeing as of late. Yeah. Right? Like, the fact that you're able to stop it before it gets past 62 is actually kind of impressive. So, but uh, you have, have more, more pushes are going to come, right? You have to hope they can prevent more from even happening because you don't want to give them another opportunity. You know they can go far with them. Either that or you make your own push right now to knock them out. Like Those are your really options if you're low-key right now with how scary Catherine Newton has been. Because honestly, if I if I was Loki, I would not I would not want to see my basket even open again. Because twenty points turns into sixty real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I know uh, exactly what you're saying. Because uh, we've seen it. Oh, and ooh, man, that is a not, not a that is a not a working uh, a situation oh. there. Well, they got one in and just behind the basket. Let's see if they can. Chip is trying to pick up that oh, clam. Oh, Chip! No, that's a car, no. Chip. That is not a basket. Nerds cannot throw footballs. Part three. <laughs> but uh, they did get something off. Um, they had they had the right idea, just not quite there. Didn't have quite the arm strength. It's like you know, you see the open man, you throw it, but you're you don't really have quite the the arm to make that throw. You got to develop it a bit. I mean, uh, it's very Chip close. Talking about if anybody is mashing hard enough to develop that arm, it's him. I guess it's just too much power for too little of a scrawny body. Uh, but whatever, that's going to be another push from uh, Catherine Newton. It looks like the push has been stopped. 
down to 41. Um, but let's be honest, you know, getting the lead of 60 or something like that from Loki would not have been any kind of thing close to a game link push, so, you know. Yeah, but 30 plus clams already on the side of Loki. They have the, the tools to get a bunch of points right now. Also, I just want to say real quick, I love how the one subs out and immediately goes in the Twitch chat and says, okay, we're actually throwing. He's not too happy with these I, things I, so I think far, he's but... being, I don't, I don't know if he drives. So he might be watching on mobile. Maybe. But... But uh, again, multiple footballs at the doorstep of Cather Newton, but they don't go in. They're just barely short of getting so many points. That would have been the lead for sure. Um, that would have been the lead and more. Uh, but they just can't quite make it to the basket and press that final button. They're like, oh, so close, you know, so far. And I don't know if it's just Loki being anti-clutch or if it's Cather Newton being clutch. Yeah, it's right, like, kind of hard to actually tell at this point, which is, is pretty good. So, you know, maybe the you know, the, the change-up of, uh, you know, the, from umbrella to brush is kind of what Loki needed. But, you know, even if they do win this, there's a big, big road ahead of them. They are fighting this crazily high-performance team right now. Yep. But, hey, if they win this game, the next game is zoned. So if the trend Ooh, continues... If the trend continues, we could really yeah. see a uh, you know comeback you know from Loki. I, I, bet, I bet that in Swiss, I, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that in Swiss, the game that Loki won was his own. I, I'm just... <laughs> I, that's my prediction. Someone can let me know if I'm right or not. I know the ones in chat, maybe he's still there. But, oh, like this! Oh, it doesn't get taken able to, Wow, able to get that kill. And again, oh, the that's push. football does Maybe go in, but will they follow up? I mean, they had put them closer to a knockout or a good lead. Should they make a, a make another push soon? But I mean, it looks like Catherine Newton is more in position to make a follow-up push. So we'll see how this see, goes. What's been what's been happening is they're spending. There's Loki is spending so much time getting like 30 plus clams, and then they're just missing like two of them. So yeah. like they're, <laughs> they're spending all this time to get like the same amount of points that that uh. Catherine oh, wait, is wait, or wait, wait, wait. less, but here comes double baller. How are you gonna get around this? I don't. I'm not sure if Catherine oh, has an answer. Wow, the answer is no. we're not. We're not gonna dodge the baller. We're just gonna ignore it and score anyway, and even knock it out. Um, <laughs> double baller, all for nothing because on the other side of the map. Catherine Newton is there and I was about to say it I was about to say they're like trading pushes and like Loki's kind of just not doing enough because they're missing footballs they're giving and then they give Catherine Newton the penalty the pity football and they and Catherine Newton's just